only we could stay the night. It's good to be back in Fallout. Alright, so I know it's 2022 right now, but you know what? Things seem pretty dismal in the real world enough, and it keeps making me think of survival stuff. And I'm probably gonna have a very survival heavy channel. If you notice, I already have my Seven Days to Die episodes already posted. In general, I'm a pretty moral person, so I'm definitely gonna be doing a moral playthrough. And I'll try to keep in mind to not be so fucking boring about it! Anyways, without further ado, Fallout 4. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Ugh, that intro. Oh man, I forget that you can do all this customization and stuff. I'll probably skip over all this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with platinum on it. Did you get a haircut I? yesterday? No, I just transformed before your eyes. I think I'm done. <laughs> God, I wish that I could... I wish I could just have a single box of any of this shit before it's blown to holy fucking back. Oh, uh, if only we just could have more time. A Broxo for all your cleaning needs. Oh, a Broxo. Where are you after the bombs fall? Scarce. Instamash, fancy lad snack cakes. Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in... never. Good, we'll fucking eat it in 200 years. Ah, chores and more chores, my endless joy. Uh, yeah. That salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Oh, man. All right, let's get this tragedy started. What's in the closet? I 
I don't want to. If I open this door, I fucking doom the entire world. It's been shown that if you just sit on this couch and you just relax and it never happens. I'm fucking the entire world right now. I'm sorry. Hi. Yeah. I'll be nice. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> this poor guy. You can't kill. begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, you know something that everyone else doesn't. What's so important? The end of the world in five minutes, bitch! If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you... To get in the fucking vault while I burn in a righteous hellfire. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Just crank it into charisma so I can avoid a bunch of bullshit, save bullets, and save my fucking time. I also want to carry shit too, though. I guess I'll attempt that. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. You're not. Oh, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely <laughs> refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> well, if yeah, I could get past you. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? <laughs> My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile. He will in the future. <laughs> Why don't you give it a spin? I did that earlier, but I'll do it again. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. The weather's about to get so hot, it's gonna fucking blow our faces off. Are you kidding me? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Codsworth? What's wrong? No. Yes. How'd the fucking TV flashes, read my mind? Flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to what? have lost contact with what our did he say? stations. Oh no. We do. We do have. We do oh have God. Them again. They must and be so, serious if they can read my mind. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. What the fuck? Is it door opening ghosts or nuclear bombs? Back there? Our door flew open. All by, all by itself. All ass with our baby. Hold on, little guy. Hold on. Leave them. They're dead. Died over luggage. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't show me. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, hey, step in? forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Fuck these guys. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? They're going to burn in a horrible fire, just like the vault tech guy. Can. In the center. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Oh god! 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 Oh
please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault hey. 111. What? A better future what? What's going underground. On? So what do you think's just... going on? Yes, the whole world just fucking went kaboom. If we left a minute later. <sighs> no, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. That was a weird Everyone way to walk away from the conversation. Am I waiting in line or am I just cutting in front of you? Yeah. Just the vault seat just and head down the, the hall. Table. You'll need your seat. Get out of the way, Mr. Abel. Just no. follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Yes. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Goodbye, husband and Sean. <laughs> The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the fall. New life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. Wait, I thought this was a medical checkup. Why is it getting so cold? Five, four, three. God, it's fucking cold. The fuck's going on? Oh, good. You guys are gonna let us out finally? Who is this guy? What? Why's he got a gun? Why do they need a gun to let us out of our pods? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, good. I got Let the boy go. What the fuck? I'm only gonna tell you once. Put the gun down. Give him the baby, you idiot. Fuck. You took my child. Fuck you, dude. let me out of the pod, you piece of shit! Pig! Oh god, it's freezing again! <laughs> Open this piece of shit, where's that rat face bastard? Oh. Finally. How long has it been? Let me get out of here. Fuck! Taste the floor. Um. Uh, too bad you can't help anyone oh else. God. Why would Vault Tech do this? Because they're exceptionally <laughs> evil. It has to be a release. I wish. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Oh yeah, it does open. It just doesn't matter. Uh, I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. At least you didn't have to suffer this horrible world. Like we do. Well, you could have had a nicer death. Well, that's probably one of the more peaceful deaths that you could have had in this horrible world. To kill a bunch of bugaboos. I'm sorry, buggies. Well, that works. Giant rad roaches! Giant roaches? What the hell? Anyway, back to business. Whipping the shit out of rad roaches. Rad Roach! Smack you. Um. Ow. Didn't see you creeping up on me. Uh, activate. What happened here? There we go. Where is everyone? Yeah, I'd be concerned if I saw someone in a vault tech suit being a literal skeleton. That would indicate that a lot of time has passed, or that something ate something to the point where it was a skeleton. 
one or the other. I know the answer to that, but you know. Shit ton of stem packs, nice. And again. There we go. Attack bugs! Fucking miss! Okay. Missing! Miss! Use your baton, you idiot! Jesus. Okay. So many of you! I'm a friggin' murderer! Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Oh, this would be horrifying. Everyone's... dead. That's the laziest job I've ever seen, wiping dust off, you idiot! Making this video long enough. Punch us to freedom. pretty horrible if that one mechanical thing had failed after all these years. Enjoy your return to the surface. I hope it's not irradiated and full of mutants. Fuck, I'm blind! What the hell do those assholes do to my neighborhood? I'm gonna have a lot of shit to clean up. Robot! As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... it's really you! Yes, it's still me. Who the hell did you think it was? But you will see the worst for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? He's seen me in worse. Yes, sir, by the way. They killed him. Oh, mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I... I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to call What a distraction this, doesn't bring my diable. husband and baby back? It's been <laughs> ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> I told you they're dead, kidnapped and dead. The hell are you talking about, you bucket of bolts? It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Oh. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It'll take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mom, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Now you're the one sounding hysterical. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. 
I told you the bastard's dead. Insensitive prick. Holy fuck, I had you around my baby! Battle music for a fly! Alright, there was a safe in this bed. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to scrap everything and build bases. I'll have to make those into their own videos, probably. Yes. Sir and young Sean! They aren't here. I've told you that a trillion fucking times. It's okay. We don't need them. Mum? What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Sounds safe enough. Yes, although they're a bit rough. <laughs> you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Bit rough, you say. Oh, they're just a tad rough, huh? Yeah, that's a little bit of an understatement of the century. Oh, here the workstation. Hell yeah. Oh god, this is gonna make me go into a fucking million hour frenzy. Yeah, fuck the storyline, let me just get the scrapping just sanctuary itself. Grab these fucked up trees. Late, late. Like how there's a fucking broken chair attached to the ass of this couch. It's just so addicting. Ah. Get all this trash out of my neighborhood. Get that shit out of here. Oh, this whole house. This whole fucked up shit. Good old radioactive water. <laughs> Jump. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of rads. Hey, don't bother me. Damn it. Damn it. Don't make me. Don't make me exit my workbench. You. You. Get on this stove. Thank you. Is that chair broken? It is. Why are these not seen as scrap? We get one chair because we're just one sad, lonely person living here now. I don't need sleep. I need a scrap. There must be someone who can help you in content. Yes, I will find them, Codsworth. I will see you later. And I will also see you guys later in the next one! Where we go find the rest of the crew. Everything you want.